A case of strep throat and flu led to a rare infection, which then led to the loss of seven-year-old Tessa Puma's left leg after doctors had to amputate. I fly it every day. Doctors initially gave her just a 20% chance of surviving, but now... It was like really hard to get used to, but more and more I did it, it got easier. I didn't even think she was ever going to be able to, say, walk or that she's going to be permanently in a wheelchair. She proved everyone wrong immediately. She went right into dance camp with her one leg and a walker. From a walker to a cane to a few different prosthetics. It was a bit of a daunting task just based on the um, demand that she puts on the prosthesis. It just looks like it's all natural. She's found what works. She even says, I have to make it my way. I have to make it Tessa's way. I figure it out. She has to work at everything harder. Ten times harder than anybody else. There's a party over here, a party over there. Wait. And here's proof of that hard work. In just a year and a half, she's back on the local, regional, and national stages, and she's winning. Hip hop. It's my favorite thing in the whole world. She does all the hard work, and uh, we just give her the tool to use, and then she hits the ground running and flipping from there. Her message now? Just keep on trying your best. Because that's exactly what she is going to do. Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News.